Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your mid-month reading for October. I was doing them from the 8th to the 15th, but <laughs> I'm a little behind, so we're just going to switch right over to mid-month. October mid-month for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Usually my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. What do you have for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Please show me. Give me a message for Scorpio. It looks as though right off the bat that you guys are releasing something. Something is being, I give up. I give up. Yep, 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 yep. It's like... Balance is coming back. Something that you deserve is coming to you. You may be get somebody may be giving you something. Okay, keep that in mind. It looks like you may be receiving something that is going to help you. This could even be financial support, but it could be something. It's something that you can touch, okay? And it's going to help you. So you're receiving something. A new opportunity. <laughs> goodness there's a lot of contradictions here there is okay here we have a release but here we here have reluctant to move on here we have getting unstuck but kind of still stuck and here we have taking action at now take action but this is lack of closure a feeling of empty something and doesn't have closure yet I feel like you are working hard to regain some balance that has been lost in your life. You've just released. You have. You've just bet, gotten unstuck from a situation. But you haven't completely moved on yet. That's what this is. You haven't completely moved on. There's still, I mean, if you look at sixes, for example, we have a six here, one's upright, one's reversed. We have two sixes. And sixes is the journey to peace and harmony. It's when you're getting your life back on track, but it's not back on track yet. It's still rocky. You're in the process of regaining some sort of stability, it looks like. It looks like you're broadening your horizons and you're headed in a new direction. You're headed in a new direction, but there's still a feeling of emptiness Incomplete. I'm not. This isn't complete yet. It's not. Something is not completed yet with these two cards. Mm. This would be you. And this is a male or a female in, my, in this situation because Scorpio does take on a feminine energy. Even the males do. So this is opening your heart. But somebody, oh, there's a lack of acceptance oh my goodness um you know you may be receiving an offer a new offer of love but maybe you can't accept it right now because you haven't closed the last chapter or you're ready to offer somebody love but the last chapter hasn't closed it could go either way something isn't closed yet there's a lack of closure and there's there's Love to be had, okay? But there's no, it can't happen yet. It can't happen yet because there's one cycle that hasn't come to completion, okay? It hasn't. And somebody needs to take action and stop hanging around, okay? You have to, you have to actually drop this into the, into the scale for it to balance out. You need to stop holding on to something. You are holding on to something that, has no victory and success in it there's too much opposition okay there's too much opposition there's no forward movement there there's no victory gonna come out of it and it feels like you haven't quite found the strength to 
completely move on. Damn it all. So it does look like you've released or you've been released, okay? Because these are both letting go. You know, they are. I'm done. It's over. But it's not over because you're still reluctant, okay? But you are headed in a new direction. Um, there is, there is the, I mean, this is, this is really good because there is love here. There's love. But right now it can't really happen. It can't really happen because you ha you aren't completely moved out of the situation you're in. Or you were in. You have a better suitor. So this too, that's what that card means. It means that you have a better opportunity waiting for you. A new adventure is about to start. And it is going to lead you to love. Okay? So be prepared for something exciting to start. It, it may be so exciting that you run. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, it just looks as though... Um, Forgiveness is needed. This person that is better suited for you is going to help you to heal from your bitterness. I think that you may be a little bitter and resentful because of another person. You could have been dealing with, you know, anybody. But this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it's also, I think this is a woman, okay? It could be a man, whatever. You are dealing with somebody that has made you feel bitter. And you're going to need to... I think there is somebody that is going to help you, that is going to come in to help you to heal and reopen your heart. Because I see that you're still probably, and that's probably why you're reluctant to move on. You're Maybe you're a little bit bitter for the time that has been wasted. You're reluctant to, to get into a new relationship. But whoever this, this exciting new opportunity is that, is that is going to be presenting itself, they're going to help you. They are going to help you. And I feel like... You're, right now, you should be getting prepared for this person. And that's probably what you're doing, hopefully. You're getting prepared. Right now, it's like you're, you are working on regaining that balance. Re working on regaining your willpower that's been lost. You guys still need to take a little bit of time to, to master your emotions. They're not completely mastered yet. There's still bitterness. There's still some anger. There's still some upset. And I feel like you guys are quickly try. You're trying to quickly move in a new direction, but it's not happening as fast as you would like. I feel like you you're still holding on, but there's this is get prepared right now for your for your right ship to come in because it's arriving. You're you are being told to really prepare. For, are you prepared? That's what I just heard. Are you prepared? Are you really prepared for this new opportunity that's coming? Because you may not be prepared. Anyway, get prepared because there is an opportunity coming in. Right now it's delayed. Right now it is delayed because you aren't complete, you haven't completely stepped over the finish line with one situation. You need to drop whatever it is that you're holding into to the scale so it balances out. Once you take that action, that's when your ship will come in. The, the new suitor that's better suited for you. But right now it's delayed. It is delayed. It's blocked. It's blocked. The ship that, that you are supposed to get on or the ship that's supposed to arrive or this new suitor, this new exciting opportunity, this new invitation, whatever it is that's coming in, it's delayed because you have a contract that has just ended and you're still holding on to it. I'm sorry. You're holding on to a false soulmate contract. You are. You are. And, and that's the consequence. I mean, this is a card of consequence, consequences for the choices that you make. If you guys can, and it's, it's, another, it's another six. So now we have the three sixes. Anyway, two of them are reversed. One is upright. We're going to get to that in a minute. But anyway, um, you guys, the longer you hold on to something that is false, that is not compatible, that's, there's a consequence for that, right? And that's why this four of cups is here. Because you have this opportunity, but you can't see it or the universe can't bring it in is in, until you completely drop whatever it is into the scale to balance it out. To bring back that peace and harmony to your life. But right now you're holding on to a false soulmate contract. Okay, and You need to take action and step over that finish line. You have to take the lead. You have to be the boss. That's what this is. You need to take back the control. This guy is the... 
he's in control. He is the boss. He's the leader. He does what he needs to do to bring structure and organization and control back to his kingdom, his life, his everything. He is the boss. He takes the lead. You need to be decisive. You need to be strong. And you need to take the lead in this situation. Right now, it feels as though you're afraid to take any risks, you know. You're, you're, you're being offered a new opportunity to fly, but you're not taking it. Because you're holding on to this false soulmate connection. You're not being logical. You're not being wise. You're not making the right decision. I mean, that's what this means. You are, you are being naive by... Lying to yourself. You're not seeing things clearly. I'm sorry. There's an opportunity for happiness, contentment after you become single and start. I mean, or even if you are single now, there's an opportunity for happiness and joy and to celebrate and come together with somebody. But you have to enjoy, you have to love yourself. You have to be grateful for the lessons that you learned. You have to um, realize that the storm that you went through has brought you wisdom. You have to realize that you have what it takes to take care of business on your own. You have to realize that I, you have so much to be grateful for, right? I feel like right now is a time of you taking care of you. Take care of you as much as you can. Enjoy your singlehood. Enjoy your everything. And it won't be it won't be long. I don't feel like you guys will will be single for long because underneath here we have this. It's coming. What you what you are looking for, what you deserve, the love that you deserve is coming. You aren't going to be single for long. If you are single, I'm here to tell you that once you reach this point of complete gratefulness instead of bitterness, you know, once you start being happy and you put yourself out there and you realize that this was some, this is, it was a lesson, but you haven't learned it yet. Okay. You haven't, you haven't mastered your emotions to realize this was a lesson that you needed to learn of some sort. But anyway, um, once you realize that it was a blessing and you, you will uh, receive some sort of abundance from the universe and it's going to be something that involves love and something that leads to commitment. But right now you're still clinging with the Six of Swords reversed to a false contract. I'm sorry. That's what this is. And you're being naive by clinging to it. You're being naive by not just, you know, taking this into your own hands. You're the freaking boss. Step over the finish line. Enjoy your life as it is. Enjoy the finer things. <laughs> Enjoy your singlehood because you ain't going to be single for long. You're not going to be single for long. There was a false soulmate connection. There absolutely was. And it was a lesson to be learned about what you deserve, about the love that you deserve. You have another opportunity, and I think that you are going to begin to realize that. I think that your faith in love is going to be restored. Okay, so keep that in mind. You may be feeling a little down in the dumps, but don't let it get you down for long because your lack of faith, your thoughts truly become things. This is faithlessness, and this is beginning to have faith, realize, beginning to recover going through a recovery, and you are going through a recovery, beginning to have faith again, realize that this is a blessing in disguise. And it was it was a blessing in disguise that you have become, come to this point. But, and that's the thing that you need to realize. So there's a new opportunity in love, right? There is. But you guys have lost faith. I see that you have. I see that there's some self-loathing here. You may feel like you did something wrong, but if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. You may meet somebody at some sort of gathering. It could be a picnic, could be a bonfire, could be a um, 
celebration, you know, somebody's anniversary, a marriage, something like that. You could you could meet somebody. A celebration. Yeah, there's going to be there is. There's be prepared because you could meet somebody that a friend of a friend of a friend, you know, that your friends help you. This could be you could meet somebody that you're already friends with or you're going to meet somebody through a friend of a friend of a that's what I'm getting. I think that there's going to be a celebration and you're going to meet this person that you're and it's almost, I think that you know this person. I do. I feel like this is somebody that you. Could be somebody you work with. And you never, ever, ever thought that they would be a possibility. It could be a work party, even. I don't know where that's coming from. But. You have to let go of the idea. You need to let go of some bitterness too. Those negative, those bitter thoughts. Okay, you better get, like I said, get prepared. You better start releasing those bitter thoughts. Realize that this happened for your highest good. Trust me, with that nine of pentacles, you're going to get something more abundant. You are, that's better suited for you with that page of wands. Something that is better, 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 better suited for you. But you have to see this as a blessing, not a loss. Okay, that blessing, not a loss. I mean, that's the truth here. Realize that you're worthy, that you are, it had nothing. I mean, it did. It takes two to tango, right? It did. But if you're not well compatible, which you weren't, if you weren't well compatible, you weren't well compatible. I mean, that's, there's nothing you can do about that. So, you know, I feel as though there is an opportunity for new love here. There is. You could meet this person at, it could even be a funeral. I'm just saying, I just happened to see that. There's going to be a celebration where you go and you, you could run into somebody, an, an old friend. That's where a friend of a friend or, I don't know, an old friend that turns into a love or you go to a party or a picnic or something where you meet somebody. This is just a time of introspection for you. Get ready. Get ready. Take this time out alone. Take this time out alone as a period of healing, a time to forgive, and a time to release bitterness and resent. Because you want to be fully ready and prepared, like I said, with that three of wands for this suitor that's coming in that's a, that is well suited for you. You have to release this shit so that you are ready for this person. So my advice is to you, enjoy your singlehood because you will not be single long. Take this time to figure out who you are, where you've been, release, let go, heal, and get ready. Bring your abundance back. Be single and love it. When you get to this point where you're single and you love it and you're feeling good and you're on top of the world, that's when the ship arrives. Seriously. But holding on to something that is not compatible, it's just going to prolong it. And there's consequences for that. Okay, there is. There's consequence. The consequences are you aren't going to be loved, right? There's an opportunity for love here. There absolutely is. With somebody, I think that you had no idea this person is not your usual type. And it's going to happen it's going to be almost like a shock. And I don't even need the tower card to see that. It's like it's going to be, wow. You know, it's going to be like, wow, where did, how, what? You know, it's going to be so exciting. There's going to be instant connection. It's going to be like, wow. So, I don't know. That's what I see. But right now, it's not happening. It's definitely delayed because you're you're holding on to some false notion that, Something is what it isn't, so I do apologize for that, but I think that a lot of you are going through some sort of timeout, and it is, it's good, it's good, you need this timeout, but it's, it's going to bring you to a much better communion, or whatever you want to call it, union with somebody that is better suited for you, so take all this time you need to refocus and heal and release, and I mean, that's what this is about. Joy and delight. Now, in the future, I want to know who this
this person is. Let's give us who who is this person in the future that they are going to meet up with? Who is this person that they are going to meet up with? Right now, you have to remove some obstacles from your life. Nobody's coming right now because you need to complete this cycle that you're in. It hasn't been. You need to turn away from the feud that you're in, which you haven't completely done. And you're still thinking about going back to her. You're still pondering over the whatever you left behind. So that sucks, huh? So they're not going to tell me. It could, you know, they're not going to tell me who it is. You have options. You have many options. So they don't want you to know. Right now, there's a lack of confidence. There's a lack of victory because you don't know what you're worth. You know, you lack confidence. You lack self-esteem. Oh, God. I think right now you just have lost your concentration and your focus. So to say who this person is, I can't say. Could be an Aries because I wanted to say that. Could be an Aries. It could be a Virgo. Um, here we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it's in reverse. So I think this is an energy of who and this. So you may be leaving or getting over an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. I think those are the, those are the ones that have impacted you these two people or, or one of these uh, air sign or fire sign that has is hindering your progress it's hindering your victory and success with anybody I feel like could be an earth sign your new person could be an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be a, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio like yourself as well because this one it, that's a good good thought right there uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be the one. Another water sign like yourself. Anyway. Joy and delight. But right now it's not coming. I had to show you this. It's delayed. Because you have a release that needs to be completed. There's lack of closure. And until you take that action and close that chapter... There's consequence for that. We already talked about that, right? There's nothing solid coming in. And you deserve something solid. But if you don't allow it, well, you know, you have free will, right? Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. You do not need to suffer to grow. You can grow leaps and bounds through joy. True happiness comes from following the dictates of your soul. Do what gives you joy celebrate and have fun it's funny i'm saying celebrations that's funny stop and embrace life yourself and others say yes take steps today to expand your joy you don't need to do it all at once but you do need to start your purpose in life is to experience joy allow joy and ecstasy to flow through you wildly and freely share your love Happiness spreads to others like wildfire and can help heal the world. The sacred traveler knows that it's not just about reaching the destination, it's about the joy of the journey. The traveler stops periodically to savor the simple pleasures of the voyage. If you don't follow your bliss now, when will you? That's, that's what it says. If you've been waiting until circumstances are different before you experience true happiness, you may have a long wait. This person that you're holding on to, it's not going to change their mind. They're not going to change. It's simple. When you focus on the areas of your life that bring you joy, those areas will prosper. One of the fastest paths to happiness is through sharing and giving. So give your heart and follow your bliss. It's time. I mean, I know that you need time. I see that you do with the Hermit card and the Nine of Pentacles to bring your abundance back and to bring balance back and all that, whatever. I understand. But they're saying it's time to, to be happy. Let your happiness shine. Just do it. Just do it. You never know what could happen. Anyway, you do have love in the future, but right now it's delayed because of your own lack of closure. You can, you can take action and close that chapter anytime, but you haven't. Talk to you next time.